Well, the COVID numbers have crept up a bit, and so the government has reinstated our movement control order. So we are uh, stuck here in the apartment. Well, we were lucky enough at the end of December to go visit the island of Penang. So come with us and escape MCO for a few moments and enjoy some of the sights and sounds of the island of Penang. This will be part one of our Penang adventure. Well, for this week's episode, we are here at the top of the Penang Hill. We are in the island of Penang, and uh, we're hoping you can join us for some exciting adventures here in Penang. As you can see, behind us is the, not only the coast of Malaysia, but also the town of Georgetown. The island of Penang is on the northwest side of the peninsula of Malaysia. We had a great drive up the peninsula. The roads were very good and the scenery and the beauty was uh, just great on the drive up. One of the highlights of the drive up was going over one of the really large bridges that connects the peninsula to the island, the Sultan Abdul Halim Muadzam Shah Bridge, or easier known as the Penang Second Bridge, was uh, about 24 kilometers or 15 miles in length, and about 10.5 miles of that is all over the water, making it the longest bridge in Malaysia and the second longest in Southeast Asia. Penang is rich in history back in the British colonial era and we took the opportunity to stay at the Eastern and Oriental Hotel which was originally built in 1885 back when the island of Penang was an important trading port. The hotel has been restored to some of its old grandeur and it was a neat uh, special treat for us uh, for this holiday vacation uh, to stay in such a beautiful place. Java tree that uh, was here before the hotel was even built. So uh, pretty, pretty cool piece of history here. We enjoyed uh, staying here at the Eastern and Oriental. We are in the Victory Annex. We thought we'd give you a peek at uh, our, our rooms for the weekend.
There's the lady in. of the house right there. <laughs> We are in the Victory Annex section of the Eastern and Oriental. There is a Heritage Wing and this uh, Victory Annex Wing. We are in the Annex. One of the cool things is this neat um, corner, corner door. takes us out onto the balcony. Here you can see the Straits of Malacca. And when we undo all the curtains, this is really neat. It's uh, all four corners. And we've got a little desk area here. That goes into the... Uh, we've got kind of a bathroom sink and wardrobe for each person. I think that's going to create an expectation that will be hard to meet. Here's the shower and the bathroom. There we go. All right. Any words about your stay at the E&O? It was very enjoyable. Breakfast was great. One of the great things about the Eastern and Oriental was the beautiful infinity pool that looked out over the Straits of Malacca. set out to explore some of the historic city of Georgetown on the island of Penang. One of the reasons that earned Penang uh, the UNESCO World Heritage designation was for all the rich history of the cultures that connected to this important port town. We are in Penang in the uh, UNESCO Heritage Site, just on the edge of Little India. Our next stop was a beautiful Chinese temple.
Our next stop in historic Georgetown was the Piranacan Mansion. This was a wonderful museum, and the Piranacans were also known as the Babas and the Noinyas, and this was a prominent community of acculturated Chinese unique to this part of the world, especially in the Straits settlements, Penang, Malacca, and Singapore, hence its other name, the Straits Chinese. Adopting selected ways of the local Malays and later the colonial British, the Piranacans had created a unique lifestyle and customs which had not only left behind a rich legacy of antiques, but its cultural influences like cuisine and language are still evident in Penang today. Amazing race, yes. And uh, 10 years ago, uh, she is 16. Yeah, the ski stop came here. They, they stopped here? They stopped yeah. here? Oh, An amazing race? Yeah, amazing. I should have picked enjoyed our time at the Piranacan Museum in Georgetown. Our guide said it was uh, voted one of the best museums in Southeast Asia and we don't doubt it. The cost was uh, 20 ringgit each to tour and we sure enjoyed getting to see this part of the history and culture of Georgetown. Our chance to experience the culture and history of Georgetown on the island of Penang continued the next day with a tour to the Blue Mansion, the Chong Fat Si Mansion that was built before the turn of the 19th century. This beautiful uh, building showed the height of uh, commerce and success uh, at that time and uh, has won a UNESCO Heritage Award for its restoration. So we're having some fun here at the Chong Fat Si uh, Mansion in Penang and uh, we're kind of sitting at the spot which was one of the scenes from uh, Crazy Rich uh, Asians movie. But what a beautiful mansion, uh, beautiful spot here in Penang. It was restored and reopened and designated as a UNESCO site in about the year 2000. So that was amazing. circulates out of there and then there's also a drainage system that when the water reaches a certain level in this courtyard uh, it drains out and it amazingly still works after 130 years. It is 
fun to think that several of the scenes from the movie Crazy Rich Asians were filmed in Penang, some here at the Blue Mansion and one even back at our hotel at the front desk. If you're fans of the movie, you'll remember the scene at the start of the movie where they check into a hotel in London. Well, really, it was a hotel in Georgetown, Penang. We enjoyed Penang so much, there was too much to fit into one video. So come back and join us next week when we go to the beaches at Batu Perenge, we ride the funicular up the Penang Hill, and we go to the butterfly pavilion at Entopia. So if you like this video, give us a like, come back next week and see more of our trip to Penang.